This is a 1970 Camaro. Uh, it's a sweet car. The old uh, split bumper style. Of course, this has got the solid bumper on it, but it's the, the split nosed um, 70 through 73 Camaros. I just, they're some of my favorites. I'm really, really growing to love, fall in love with these things. This is, uh, engine has been rebuilt. Uh, it's got a high, high performance rebuild on it. Uh, roller rocker, roller cam, full roller rockers. Um, everything under here is new and the engine's probably got 700 miles. It's still kind of a, in, I would call it in break in. It's got Vortec heads on it. So it does, we did special order these Edelbrock valve covers uh, for the Vortec heads. And this is just a bad, bad mama jamba. Um, beautiful beautiful engine detail the headers do have the paint kind of burnt off of them but other than that which is kind of normal other than that the uh the underneath the hood looks really really nice really nice smooth um uh, inner fender wells it's got a new brand new battery uh, like i said the engine's to completely rebuilt it's got a uh, Edel new edelbrock carb on it um and then of course the edelbrock dress kit just makes it look super nice power steering uh manual disc brakes Hood opens and closes very nicely. It's got a new, uh, newer paint job on. I'm not gonna say it's brand new, but the paint's probably about two years old, and uh, very nicely done. Very nice, professional driver quality paint job. I'm not gonna say it's a show car. This is not a show quality uh, paint job, but you wouldn't want it on a car like this. This is a this is a driver. One of the nice things that the guys did, they did a perfect job laying down the stripes, and then they actually came in, I'm trying to show on the camera, that they came in and actually pinstriped in all around all the black with just a little bit of gunmetal gray, and it really sets this car off super nice. The chrome on it is in great shape. The light bezels, front bumper look awesome. It's got new uh, rally wheels with uh, new uh, center caps, beauty rings, and BF Goodrich radial TAs with plenty of tread left on them. In fact, uh, the tires look almost new. I'm not going to say they are new for sure, but they look almost new. Although we have been ripping up the streets in this thing. Same thing on the back. Light bezels look great. Plastic, everything. Stripes on the, on the, on the, on the back look awesome. The chrome is very shiny and looks good. It's got a couple of little paint imperfections around here, which is not unusual for a driver quality paint job. Like on the inside here, you just see a couple of little spots where just maybe a little body work or whatever wasn't done perfect. I'm talking about down inside between where the body meets the trunk. Body on the car is super, super straight. The paint looks really, really good with the exception of a couple of minor, tiny little things like there might've been a little bit of touch up right here. Just a couple of little spots like that. This car um, looks awesome. The interior is in fantastic shape. The door panels look really good. Like I said, this is not a show car. So things aren't show, show, high-end show quality here. That's not what this is about. And you know that when you're looking at this, even clicking on the button to even come to look at this car because of the price. This is a killer deal on an awesome driver. Beautiful new interior. Looks like one tiny little indention there, not even quite ripped through on the seat. Dash looks good. I'm not that crazy about the uh, tachometer in the center of the, of the uh, steering wheel, but it does have a hypo engine in it, so it is nice to know what your RPMs are. It's got a new dash cap on it. Like I said, the seats, they're new. Headliner's new. Looks like the uh, rear sail fins in the back have got a little bit of wear and tear on the back of them. It's got a, uh, it does have a CD player in it and it does work. Let me uh, pop the trunk real quick. Trunk's very nice, just, you know, original style uh, mat in it, no rust. Hey, hold that up for me. Mm -hmm. The uh, trunk is, the deck lid is, or trunk lid is not holding itself up right now. So it does need to have the springs redone. The floor pan looks in here, the trunk panel in here, it looks immaculate. It looks perfect. It does have air shocks too. And so you can see where you can put your air in right there. Actually, I did not know that until this very moment. That's fun to find things like that on the car. Let me uh, take a quick look underneath it, and then we're going to take it for a drive. It does have the front spoiler on it. It looks really nice. And this is, you know, not an RSSS car or anything like that. This is just your standard Camaro. But 
It's still a Camaro, man. This thing's sweet. The cowl hoods look really cool on these, but I actually really like this flat hooded one too. Makes it a little easier to drive, in fact, in some ways. Really clean. Floor pants, zero rust on the car. Brand new Flowmaster exhaust, super exhaust, uh, aggressive. Of course, the car's got a big nasty cam in it, long tube headers, and a brand new Flowmaster exhaust, so it's gonna be loud and aggressive. Turn downs behind the rear, t behind the rear tire is your exhaust. Looks like the U-joint was recently replaced on the uh, rear end. You can see that. This is a really sweet car. This is the kind of car that makes me love my job and hate it. I love to be able to have the opportunity to drive cars like this and enjoy them, but I hate having to get rid of them. This is the kind that you'd want to keep around for a while. Super, super clean floor pants. They just look awesome. Subframe connectors, everything looks really good. I'm sorry, they do not have subframe connectors. I said that wrong. I meant to say just subframe. Subframe. So let's take her for a ride. She does have seat belts here in the front and in the rear. Let's put my seatbelt on real quick. I'll take that camera back from me. Super aggressive, as I said. The dash is showing 72,650 miles. From the look of the car, it's either been extremely restored or that's original miles. The undercarriage of this car is super, super clean. It does have a big hoppy cam in it, so you gotta give it a little gas to get it rolling. And as uh, my mechanic in uh, my shop, set, Jason, says, this is a barely street legal. You can hear the transmission shifts perfectly. The car handles great. steering works perfectly, the car steers very easily and nicely. The aftermarket gauges in here are working right, We've got good oil pressure, ammeter, the water. You can see that the, we're sitting right now at about 175, probably because it has a 175 uh, thermostat in it. Cooling system works great. In fact, uh, she's a little bit cold natured. You first crank her up in the morning, she takes a minute to warm up because the cooling system just works so good. Lights work, turn signals, brake lights, windshield wipers. Wow, nice car. Woo! You don't get to see one of those every day. I think that. Let's go back and race him. <laughs> yeah, that car would spank this one. <laughs> It's a great cruising car. Nice thing too with the exhaust going all the way out up the back and not just underneath. It's not too loud and aggressive. Right now we're cruising, we're probably doing about 55, 60 miles an hour, and uh, and it's comfortable. We can turn the radio on right now. In fact, you got a CD to throw in there. Yeah. I do believe the antenna's not hooked up on the stereo. Throw a CD in there though, and you can hear that it works.
great cruising car. The seats are very comfortable. Drives very easily. Brakes stop true. This is a great driver restoration. This is all day long the kind of car that I'm trying to get in the shop. I try not to run your my videos quite so long, guys, so I apologize. I'm, this this road was a little bit longer than I remembered because I really wanted to get out here and get on it one more time.